Hi friends, Naji here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So we are going to start a new playlist with respect to Lang graph and this is an introductory video about Lang graph. So what is Lang graph? It's actually a library which will help us to do the multi-agent orchestration. So the agenda of this video will be, first we will be discussing on why we need the agents, then we will be discussing on Lang graph, nodes, edges, then we will be doing a simple straightforward application with Lang graph. So why agents? Okay, so agents are now like bus in the industry and um, first I will tell you the example with respect to agents. Suppose you are going to build a help desk solution, okay, and the customer will ask some questions and uh, based on the context of this question, you may need to call a database call you may have to make a, a database call or you may have to do a, a maybe like a, a wiki search that you have to do or you may have to get information from a human feedback okay so it may be done by a human okay so all those things can be done using agents okay so we will have a, a, a query agent will be there which will be uh, accepting the queries from the customer and based on this context it may go to the database agent and the database agent will be query the databases and which will return the data or it may go to the wiki search engine search agent you may go and search uh, with respect to the wiki and it will return the data or information to the uh, customer or it may have it may wait for the a human to actually give some feedback so all those things can be achieved through agent and uh, uh, Langchain is actually our Langgraph, sorry, Langgraph is actually providing a, a, a library to do all those things. Okay, And uh, the agent, so it, it, it actually automate the complex task. So from this example, it is clear that how it handles the complex task, right? And it is making decisions in real time. Yes, definitely. Based on this uh, customer context, it is actually switching between the different other agents. Personalized user experiences and... Uh, interactive interactivity with external systems okay uh, so uh, as we discuss in the example i said like we will be going to the wiki search engine and we are getting data from the website and the real time decisions real time decision making and the workflow management okay see so these are done by the agents now some more examples we already discussed about the support desk and another example is with respect to the online marketplace where agent can handle the thousands of customers inquiry uh, inquiries on daily basis and answering the questions about the product shipping and the return all those things can be done by the agents so the owner the business owner will able to ing increase their business without increasing the customer servicing staff so coming to lang graph it's actually, as I mentioned, like it's actually a library for building stateful multi-actor applications with LLMs. It's used to create agent and the multi-agent workflows. Okay. So um, the key features include the Lang graph. It's actually providing the cycles and the branching. Okay. So we discuss about uh, the branching, right? For example, a context is coming. Consider it as a tree when a customer query is coming and it is actually conditionally checking the context of the customer query. And based on that, it may go to the database agent or database engine or it may go to the uh, what you call the wiki, wiki agent or it may wait for the uh, user agent. So it's kind of a branching will happen, right? And also it will wait for uh, some response. So we, it, it will always wait for some loop or cycles also. Uh, will, cycles also can be done using the Lang graph. And persistence automatically serve the state after each step in the graph. Okay, so if you are moving from one graph to another graph, okay, it will save the state of the graph. Human in the loop, we already discussed, it will wait for the human interaction and it will support the streaming support and it also provide the interactions with the Lang chain. So this is a high level about Lang graph. And this is a simple graph and this is a graph that we are going to implement in this video. So in a line graph, we will have a start node will be there and it will have a end node. Okay. In, be, in between, we will have a multiple nodes. Okay. So here we have a node one and here we have a node two. So these nodes uh, simply we can consider it as a Python functions. And these nodes are connected using the edges. 
we can see that okay from start node it will connect it to um, using as it can to node 2 from node 2 it will go to node sorry node 1 from node 1 it will go to node 2 and it will end there so from the start to end it will keep the state or it will share the state among these nodes so node 2 will get the state from node 1 okay and um, at the end okay there is nothing to share if you have a node 3 like it will go to the node 3 okay so in that way it will share the state of each node and as i said a node one a node is a python function okay and simply node is a uh, nodes are the python functions and each node operates on the state that we discussed and adjust is simply a connect the nodes we will have a normal adjust and the conditional adjust so here uh, this is the normal edge the conditional edge means we discuss right when based on some context or based on some conditions we may have to switch between uh, like node a or node b okay and uh, and we can do so we can, so next is we can try to implement this simple graph using the lang graph for that i have my um, visual studio code is open and i just install the lang graph on this using the pip install minus r requirement.txt and um, here i just name let's say symbol maybe i can rename it as okay just keep it a uh, symbol dot uh, notebook is open here let me add few things okay so here first let me execute this so you may have to select the kernel first select the kernel and just um, run the cell okay now we can do after the uh, pip install uh, lang graph we can import few packages we can use the lang graph dot graph and we can import state graph we can use the start and we can have the end okay. so to draw we we need to have some supporting libraries that is uh, we need to have it this is to display the things okay now first we can what we can do we can create a state class for that i can have a typing and here i can import um type predict okay here i am going to create a state okay so this state will be a type of dict and i am going to create a graph state of string type okay now we can define few nodes here so as i mentioned the nodes are python functions right so here i can have a node one we have a state and let me print here i am in node one okay here i can update my state okay graph state what it does is first it will take the current state okay sorry first it will take the current state then it will add uh how are you okay maybe let me put a comma here okay so this is one node what it does is it will take a, a current state okay then it will add the how are you with that current state okay so this will be our new state now i can have a node 2 this also will take a state here i can say that I am in node 2 here also I can do the same code here I can say that okay graph state I am taking the current state now I can say that find find sorry find fine thank you just for the demo purpose okay now we have the node now we need to link all those three all those links together for that first i can have a builder i can have a state graph which will pass the state now we can build the node so builder node add node so we are adding our first node my first node is node 1 and I am going to mention here node 1 and my 
second node is I'm going to add a second node here this is my node 2 and I have my node 2 so we have mo we have our node is ready now we can add the edges okay so if you are remembering that diagram first edge will be the start edge right so here I can add a edge my edge will be start from start node it has to go to node 1 okay then I can add another edge from node 1 it has to go to node 2 good then I am building a edge from node 2 it has to go to the end okay now we have our uh, edges is also there so we, we made our uh, nodes and we made our edges now we can compile this for that we can use builder dot compile okay so we will be compiling this one now let's see how our graph look like okay for that I can use the image okay I can have a graph dot get graph method okay then I can have a draw dot dot png then I can print it okay now we can see our graph so we will have a start then it will go to the node 1 and node 2 and it is going to the end okay now we can call this graph okay so the graph is actually imported from the running lab, lab running interface so we will able to call it using the invoke method okay so here I can go to in well, I can call the invoke method okay so here I can pass the graph state okay here I can pass the graph state as good morning I can say that good morning okay so before executing just just understand this first it will the good morning will go to the nodes node 1 then the state will go to the node 2 okay so what we are actually doing in the node 1 we are taking the state then we are adding how are you so it will be good morning how are you then in node 2 we will have a state of the graph okay which is good morning how are you then we are appending the fine thank you with that okay so we can see that let me execute this okay we are getting some error so let me check this must write to at least one graph state okay something went wrong here so let me see okay here it is graph state spelling mistake graph state graph state so let me execute it again it's a spelling mistake I'm running it again compiling it graph state now let me execute this okay so this is good see how this one good morning then node 1 and this good morning will really be appended with the node 1 that is how are you then node 2 fine thank you okay so this is how uh, we can simply implement a simple lang graph okay so uh, that is all about in this video I will be uploading this to my GitHub repository you guys can down, download it and freely use and modify the code as needed so in our coming videos we can discuss about conditional uh, graph all those things we can discuss okay so please do like and subscribe have a nice day bye bye